Hello and welcome back to Gate Bee's Garden. Today we're going to be talking about blueberries. So if that is something that you've been thinking about growing, now is the perfect time to get those planted. And there's tons of different varieties, so hopefully this video will help make that decision a little bit easier for you. So there are evergreen varieties like this one, and the leaves turn purple in the winter time, but I think this is more ideal for milder climates. So if you're in a really cold climate, you may not be able to get the evergreen varieties. Um, but most of the blueberries are not evergreen, so they lose their leaves during the winter time. And each variety also has different ripening times of the season. Some are early, mid, or late, so that's something else to consider. But I did take some video over the course of last year so you can see just how productive each one is. And stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll let you know how many pounds or ounces of blueberries I picked off of each variety. I've got these in a raised bed that's about four feet wide by, I can't remember how long it is, but I will post that up in the notes. And we've got 10 different varieties of blueberries in here and they're all pretty low bushes. They, none of them get super high. Um, but I've had these first five here in this row, I think about four or five years. And then the ones behind them were mostly planted by the previous owners, so they're a little bit older. So the first one we have here is called Brigitta. And this is one that we had at our previous place um, and really liked it, so it, it's a little bit hard to find. But if you find it, it's definitely a good one to get. It gets really big berries and it's my second most productive blueberry, at least last year. I'll see how this year goes after I finish all the harvesting and see how it compares to last year. But so far it's looking like it's gonna be pretty productive this year. I've already gotten a few harvests off of it and I've been harvesting today and got that bowl so far and have a lot more to pick. So that is called Brigitta. Next we have Chandler and this is the one that gets probably the biggest berries out of all of the bushes here. And it was the most productive last year and it is pretty productive this year, so we'll have to see if it's number one again or if Brigitta will take its place. But it has some pretty tasty berries and it is growing a little bit wider than some of the others, so I might have to do some more pruning to this one this summer or this winter. Um, but it's pretty loaded with berries, lots of berries to pick and lots still to ripen. And next we have Patriot. This one gets a really cool red color in the fall. It's really pretty. The berries are not as big as some of the other varieties that I have, but they are pretty productive anyway and are very tasty. But this one is probably, I might just have one more harvest left on this one. It's a little bit earlier ripening variety, so it gets done um, earlier. And this here is the sunshine blueberry and it is um, one of the few blueberries that is evergreen so it does keep its leaves during the winter time and the berries are pretty small probably the smallest variety that I have they are pretty sweet um, very good tasting but it's not my favorite bush um, just because while it is later ripening for one thing and I'm, I like the bigger berries so um, and also this one does get tend to get a lot of this mummy berry where the, the berries kind of turn white and just fall off and don't ripen. Um, but I've had that problem with this bush since I got it. So I'm not super happy with that one. I may replace it at some point. We'll see. This one here is called Blue Ray. It might be the tallest bush of the bunch. Um, it does get quite a few berries. I've harvested most of the berries off of this one already. It's also a little bit earlier. Um, fruiting one than some of the others. So I've probably only got one harvest left on this one and it'll be done. I don't see too many unripe berries on this one. Um, but that's been a pretty productive one as well. Maybe my third or fourth most productive, but I'll see what the final tally is this year in another month or so. I wanted to mention the netting that we're using. This isn't your regular cheap bird netting. This is some pretty 
heavy duty stuff. It's kind of almost like plastic bag material, but it is super easy to work with. It doesn't get all tangled up. Birds don't get caught in it, which is a plus because our previous netting, we kept getting birds stuck in it and it wasn't always an out, a good outcome for the birds that got stuck in it. Um, but this is what we got on Amazon. It works super well. Um, I was able to get this onto the, onto the bed in probably two minutes by myself. And we've got some little screws that we put into the, the board here. And we just are able to tighten and just put those on there just to secure it so that it doesn't blow away and so no critters get under it. But we've been really, really happy with this and it, it, we've used it for I think three years now. So it lasts a long time. We do take it off in the winter time, um, but we do really, really like this net. And I'll put a link to the Amazon where you can get that. Now on the other side, we have a row of berries that were planted by the previous owners. So I'm not sure what some of these are. This one here on the end is another evergreen one. I'm not sure if it's the same exact variety as the sunshine or a different one. It does seem to be taller. Um, it actually did not set any fruit at all last year, but this year it's, it's pretty loaded with fruit. And I think um, I haven't done any harvesting on this one yet this year, so I need to get on that because it's starting to actually kind of fall over and partly is, is because of this rhubarb that's behind it that's probably pushing against it a little bit. So it's not a great place to put a rhubarb, but I'll probably be moving that rhubarb somewhere else at some point. Next to that, we have a little one called Blue Gold. This is my newest variety. I had a pink lemonade here uh, previously, but I wasn't too happy with the pink lemonade variety because it was just not very productive. Some years I didn't get any berries and the years it did produce berries, it just wasn't very many. So I got rid of it and then I, I replaced it with this variety here, which is supposed to be a good one. Um, it's only, I think, three years old, so it's not super productive yet, but hopefully in another year or so we'll get more berries off of that one. Now this one here I think might be called Duke. They did leave a tag um, somewhere on here, so I'm thinking that's probably what this was, though I think the tag was actually on the bush next to it, but I'm pretty sure that's not Duke. So I think this one is the Duke, um, but it's got pretty small berries as well. And it's been super, well, I wouldn't say super productive, but it's kind of hanging in there, kind of in the middle compared to the other berries. Next to that is a very, very small bush and it's, it's a pretty old tree. So I'm actually thinking of getting rid of this one. I think this one might be the top hat, which is a, a dwarf variety, which explains why it's so small but I think it's never been very productive. So that's another one I am thinking about getting rid of because it, it just doesn't really grow and I'd rather have a more productive bush over here. And then finally, we have the pink lemonade. And this year it did really well. It's got actually more berries, I think, than I've ever had since we've been here. Last year, it didn't get a single berry, but we've got loads of berries. It's a, it is a, a later ripening variety. So you can see there's a lot of unripe berries in here, but we should get some more ripening here in, over the course of this month. And right now we're just at the beginning of August. So I'm looking forward to that. They do taste a little bit different than a regular blueberry. They're kind of more, I know it's kind of hard to explain. Um, they are a little bit sweeter, I think but it's just got a, a little bit different taste, maybe kind of citrusy. But that is all the blueberries we have. If you have any really great blueberry varieties that don't get too tall, let me know what they are and I'll think about adding those to the bed. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.